Hi, Carol here, and thank you for joining me in my craft room. I am doing a quick card for my sister, Barb. We are literally taking my craft room apart. We're redoing it to get that 60 drawer apothecary in here and cleaning all oh, and waxing and all of my stuff around me is in boxes and I'm telling you what it is a chore and a half so I need to get up a nice gift and a thank you card because there's a lot of work going into here that she's helping me with and I'm taking a break today tomorrow is our mom's birthday and she would have been 84 and so all the sisters are meeting for lunch after church tomorrow so uh, I just wanted to have a down day of not working in my craft room. Besides, this isn't work, this is fun. So I'm going to bring uh, her a card. And I chose to do the Happy Watercolor set, which is absolutely gorgeous. Love it. And the, let's see, I'm working with the uh, Coastal Cabana Black. Um, the uh, Big Brown Sugar Chocolate Chip Pool Party and um, what color is this one? And another mix, I'm not sure. This is an older one, Sage Shadow. And I chose to do, I have to be careful I don't get any of this on me. I took some burlap, I took a little piece of lace. Burlap and lace is always pretty and then I distressed the lace with some of the Coastal Cabana. I want to say Copacabana, thinking of Lucy and Desi. Um, and I took some of the ribbon, the Coastal Cabana ribbon, and twine. And it's five and a half by five and a half base, black cardstock stamping up black and then I took the coastal cabana and I took the center out as you can see here I'm going to take this out as well I took the center out to use it to do my inside piece here right here because you might as well not waste paper you don't need that because you're not going to see it right this is going to go uh, over top so I distressed all the edges. This is baked brown sugar cardstock. And uh, it's going to obviously be vintage. So I want to um, put this down. A lot of elements. More elements, I think. More so uh, when you do a vintage card. Because it looks, you know, it has a look all its own, right? And I did not distress the edges on this, so I think I'll just take some chocolate chip, maybe some of the baked brown sugar, whatever I can grab there, just to get the edges. A little bit of both, I think. There we go. Makes a lot of mess when you distress all the edges of this type of a card, I'll tell you. So I wanted to have some of the uh, Coastal Cabana sticking out of there. I want to try and keep my fingers clear of all that stuff. So this is what you're going to have right here. So you've got the Coastal Cabana, the Baked Brown Sugar, the Black Card Base. Then I had the uh, baked brown sugar, and then I took a piece of our Stampin' Up. I can't remember what the name of this print is. It's a floral print of the DSP, but I took some of that, and I'm going to add a piece of it here. It has, uh, it's cherry blossoms, I think, because I see cherry blossom everywhere. So that's going to go on next, and we are going to crumple this up to give it some distressed look like that, being very careful, and it's kind of a thick paper, so 
Uh, and this is going to be a tile technique that I saw on, um, what was I watching, Stamp TV. And I really liked it, so I'm going to incorporate that style into this. And I'm going to use the baked brown sugar just to see the distressed edges on here. I actually, I don't think you even have to worry about that. I just want to make it a little aged. Barb loves vintage. That's why she's doing my room up in vintage. And I'm telling you, it is going to save me a lot having 60 cupboards. I can't wait. Or drawers. There, that looks good. So, I'm going to, excuse me, have to get some uh, baby wipe for my fingers. Okay, so. Um, there we go. I'm going to do some coloring as well. So I'm trying to keep it down to a minimum. It's really funny because I had my new camera up because I could not find my camera. I brought it downstairs and I had to work on the right hand side and I just thought, you know what, I can't deal with uh, having to learn that camera and do this card all at the same time. <laughs> And my room all wrapped up in boxes and uh, oh my amazing so just push it out push it down get it on there looks really nice like that and you're gonna get your fingers a mess again but it's worth it there we go see just have a baby wipe handy and a paper towel. So we have that. So this is my base. Now, let's see what we're going to do next. I took the uh, baked brown sugar and this measures, um, let me see, this is three and a quarter by four and three quarters. And then I just went in uh, a quarter of an inch all the way. And then my focal point is going to be tiled. And I took the stamp from the uh, Happy Watercolor, the flower. I made um, a mask, which is on there. I want to take it off because I'm going to save that in my set. And then I stamped over it so that I had two images. I'm going to have something covering the bottom so I didn't care about that there. So let's put that right there. And then I took a little, um, I made a little tag, punched out a little tag, and it's like, psst, put that on there from on there. And it's going to say inside, you make me happy. So let's get working on, let's see. I raised the Coastal Cabana on this, but everything else is flat, okay? And until I decide what I'm going to do as far as the ribbon and the lace, I'm not going to touch that right now. But I am going to work on this piece. So you want to get out your scoreboard like this. And you are going to score on here in half inch increments. It's going to look like tiles. So I'm going to use the small side of my stylus. And I'm going to come in at a half an inch here. And you're going to press down a fair amount because I want it to look like grout when I use the baked brown sugar. And then you want to grab it at the one inch. And the one and a half. Being careful not to slide over. I just did and turn it around here and grab the half inch right here
There. Then you're going to come in like this at the half inch and you're going to do the same thing. So we have one. And at the one inch. And you have to be careful it doesn't move. And two inches. Two and a half, three, and three and a half. There we are. And you have your tile effect pre-stamped with whatever image you want to have on there, which is nice. I haven't used this scoreboard for quite a while because of having it on our trimmer. So then you're going to take some of your big brown sugar and lightly, and I say lightly, just going to make this, I'm going around the flower because I am going to color in the flower. So it really looks nice. It does look like grout. Just keep kind of like a soft hand so that the inside doesn't look like. I'm going to go like this. I like that look. There we are. Really pretty. Okay. So. And you can go as light or dark as you like. I kind of like that. On the inside of the card, I did it already in the in the um, half inch increments and I put you make me happy. So I'm going to just lightly go over it so it looks like the tile. nice and it says you make me happy there we go and let's open this up on the inside here I made a little piece in the coastal cabana and it's going to go uh, this way I think so let's take our sponge take some of the coastal Anna. and just do the edges because I distressed everything I think it kind of look nice takes off the ratty edges as well so take your runner and see what happens you want to keep checking your fingers because you don't want to um, make a mess on your card right there we are okay so nice to have above zero weather for those that are so happy to see winter although leaving although I heard we're supposed to get another storm next week unbelievable and then here I'm going to put this down but I don't know yet um, which way I don't know if I'm going to have it over to the side. We'll see. I'm just going to close that up. I have two of these little bows I'm going to put in there that when I tore the burlap and took it out, I kept a few of the little strands. So we can put this down now on here. So let's get out our... First, I'm going to put this down. Wanting to leave um, a little bit on each side. Take some of that out like that. I wanted to stick out the edges, so um, I'll take this off. Pull three cords out like that. Take this off and pull three out so it's even. There we are. Really pretty. 
and then I'm going to just put my glue gun here to hold that down and it'll look really pretty. Then I'm going to show you <clears throat> something with the other set that I got another card. It's so pretty too. I love doing vintage. I think I'm losing my voice. That's not good. There we are. Oh yes. Isn't that nice? So you have that there. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. Then I took some of the Coastal Cabana and some of the baked brown sugar on here. And I think I will put it right there. Isn't that nice? It's just a nice uh, card. And I haven't done a card in so long. It feels good. Get out one of my making sure it's kind of even. Let's see, this isn't there. We go. Oh, it's a quiet day, I'm telling you. Lots of work going on in here. There we go. Add a little bit. But it doesn't deter me on doing a card. Oh no. There we are. Okay, so then you're going to cut that off. Like that. I thought I'd have to do a vintage card. Brings everything in my room now is going to be ultra vintage. There we are. Okay. So we have that. And let's work on our vocal image here. I think that looks good. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to raise that up with or, let me see if I could do it with this. May be able to. Get a quick stick in here. And we'll use the... Not a dimensionals, but... I think this is going to work out better. Of holding it down. Quick, quick, quick. Try not to get a mess. Let's put that down. It'll hold it up a little bit. That's nice. Yes, I think it needed that. I have dimensionals underneath the Coastal Cabana there, paper. So I think that's really pretty there. And then I think I will just put this down on the inside for now. even to the top and the bottom. Very nice. Then I'm going to get glue dots for those bows and let's work on that. So we have that like that. I love vintage. I love it. And then I think there goes my phone. See? Doesn't stop ringing. Um, Let's see what I'm going to do with that. I think I'll just take a couple of glue dots and I like adding them on the edges here. One there. Every time, every time I do a card, my phone rings. That's why I got the other camera, the camcorder, and I'm not even using it. Isn't that hysterical? That's cute, isn't it? With the two little bows on each side. I love it. 
Okay, so let's get our watercolors going here. And we're going to do this image. So I'm going to start on the inside and work my way out. It's really pretty. Um, you've got all of, like, Now we can start. I'll start on this one first. You can hear my dog. I'm going to move up to the sage and bring that in the middle. There we go. And that out. There we are. Keeping this very light at the top. Follow those lines. Okay, we'll do this one. This is a pretty set. I mean, couldn't you just sit like for hours and... and do coloring? I could, without saying a word, just sit and just flick it out. I'm going to bring this over. Just choose in the corner. I use the antique white, like the very vanilla. And I'm going to darken this whole one up underneath. It's going to look really pretty. And you know, like always, my time gets taken away from me. Can you imagine if you went start to finish? That would really be a long card. This is really dark. I'm doing the fold dark. And up to the front dark. I think I'll just come in. I'll do it dark. on the petals up at the top. Leaving a light um, area in the center. that pretty and we'll do the same just take the flicking motion after you're finished I want to get this one done this has all the dots in the center really dark in the middle and this will be done and we have a whole card Fantastic. Quiet day. <laughs> when I'm really busy, oh my, these drawers have kept me busy. Okay, so we'll flick this up, leaving a line kind of in the center, lighter, 
like that. And then take a piece of paper and just rub it off so that you can just lightly come in like this. Quite easy actually. I'm just going to give it now you can switch it up if you want to try to put some of the pool party in there. Although I find the pool party much lighter. Let's get this dark. I like the lines on this flower. It allows you to do that flicking motion and keep the outside dark. side light. There you have it. And we could add a little bit down here as a light on the stem if you wanted to. There we go. I might add a little bit of yellow. Let's grab some of this uh, yo-yo yellow and I am going to come out with a little bit in the center. I think it will bring that green out even though we don't have any. I think that looks nice. Very nice. Okay. Then you can take your you can bring some of that out. Push it out with your blender pen. And there you have it, my friends. Let's move this out of the way. We have one minute. I am going to put this down. I'm going to put this here like this. So let's grab this and go straight across where you want it to rest like that on your tile, then turn it around and we have a nice card. I want to thank you for joining me. I know it was a quiet card. Coloring is really quiet. It's a nice quiet. There we are. And grab some scissors like this. That's pretty. And then we'll put my, that's nice. Okay, let's put this down. There we are. And then we're going to get our show you there how many minutes 28 seconds let's get this out I want to do this quick tie this in a knot 19 seconds yikes see what I'm saying and this is going to go right there like that and thank you have a blessed day let's put that there with our glue gun and there you have it my friend